Hello YouTube, Jeff Bosco here. There are no really good videos on how to uh, set up Motu Discovery for uh, OBS, so I figured I might as well make one. And uh, in order to do that, I spent a few days <laughs> trying to master this uh, very powerful piece of software over here. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, the learning curve is really steep and uh, I was watching some of the Mark of the Unicorn videos on their YouTube channel and there was a lot of frustration in the comment section about how dense and unwieldy this uh, very, very powerful piece of software is. But m me personally, I, 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 when I bought this, I was glad because um, even though I'm not a very technical guy, I very much like the idea of uh, more complexity, more powerful, even if it means a steeper learning curve. But uh, I will say that I, I got pretty frustrated during the process of figuring out how to do this. So um, I'm just going to get right into it. So uh, let's see. I am going to, I have this preset saved already. And at the end of the video, I'm going to save that and export it. And I'm going to link, I'm going to put a link in the description so you can just download this preset if you, if you want to get your, uh, your Motu hardware set up for this. And then you won't even have to learn all this. You could just watch it for entertainment value and then just take my preset and do do your thing. <laughs> okay, so, uh, so, so I have this all saved right now. So what I'm going to do is clear all and then apply. Oh, so once I hit OK, I'm going to have to switch to the, uh, the crappy um, webcam mic. So you're not going to hear me for a minute. All right, there I am again. Not as high fidelity, but all right. So what now? How do we start this? Okay, so first I want to get my uh, voiceover mic into OBS but I also want to get it into the computer. There we go. So, I have this going to the mains, and if we go over to the mixer, I'm probably, I'm probably shouting a little, so I'm gonna unplug this a little bit so I can hear myself. Okay, so that puts us in analog one. That's a hardware input into the Motu mixer. So we'll go back to the routing. Mix in. That means that goes into the mixer. All right, so now that we know that, what do we have to do next? So. In my specific case, I want to be able to talk over me working in my DAW, which is Reaper. So I want to have the output of Reaper and the output of this mic going into OBS at the same time. Plus, I also need to be able to hear the output of Reaper and this mic so I can monitor what's going into OBS. Normally, you know, all the workaround is always, you know, the similar talkback um, when people are setting up a really quick and dirty talkback mic in the DAW. So it just uh, set up a, a, um, a track for it and hit record as you're um, working. But that's a pain in the butt and uh, you don't want to do it that way. But since this software is so powerful and there's so many uh, different ins and outs it just makes sense to learn it and figure out how to set this up so that's what I'm doing now alright so now that I have that going to the mains so we'll go back to the mixer 
See, that's going into the mains. Now we can send that into OBS. Watch this. So I already have these marked here as OBS in. So this will be uh, to computer. It took me forever to figure out that to computer was in this list here, to computer one and to computer two, which I renamed here OBS in one and two. That was <laughs> that was the most frustrating thing. So if I go to here, see these are the mains. This is what's going into the main, so we want that to output into OBS. So we go OBS1, OBS2, and now you should probably hear me through the, through the microphone again, and it is, so I'm gonna mute this. And the next step is getting output from Reaper. And I have something playing here, which you'll be able to hear in a minute. Okay, so, so this is Reaper Out. You can see Reaper Out 1 and 2. That will be coming from the computer. So I in Reaper, I have... On the master track, I have... Reaper out one and two, plus I have an extra phone out, which is what I what I, these phones here. I have two separate, um, two separate hardware outs for that, which I will show you why in a minute. Okay, so. I want Reaper out to go to OBS, but watch what happens. Where did I go? Oh no, I can't send Reaper and my mic to OBS, both to the OBS in. Since that's the case, I have to figure out another way to do this. I'll show you how I did that in a minute, but I, first, <laughs> that was uh, Anita Baker, caught up in the rapture of love. I'm playing with that. I'm playing that on uh, Reaper, obviously, because I'm going to turn it into a progressive rock song. I mean, why else would I be playing that? Anyway, so so here's how we do this. Just like we have analog one going in here into the mixer, we could take the Reaper hardware output and put that into the mixer too. So I will put that on three. Now we should be getting a signal from Reaper. Yep, it's going. The only problem is I don't hear it in my phone yet. So, all we have to do now, What did that take? 10 minutes? Not even. Yeah, I, I was I went on a little bit here and there, but um yeah. That's not too difficult. Was that so hard? Yeah, actually. 
that took me a long time to figure all this out. So, oh, oh, I just realized I made another scene. I made another scene so you could see this better. Okay, so I'm gonna explain this. I'm gonna turn Anita Baker down just a little bit. So I will go right into the mixer. Just turn her down a little bit. That's a fantastic song. I'm going to leave it running vent in the background a little bit. All right. Uh, no, I'm going back to the routing. Okay, so let's let's go over this again. So I need this, my voiceover mic, and the output from Reaper to go into OBS. So, the way I have it going into OBS is I have my mic, Analog 1, going in to the mix, into the mix 1, mixer 1, which takes it to the main output, and the main output are going to OBS 1 and 2 here. Same thing, I have Reaper, Reaper out. They are going into the mixer here in 3 and 4. And we'll go to the mixer. Oh, I don't know if you could see that where it is. You should be able to see that now. That's, no. Uh, I should have set that up better. I don't remember. That sh you should be able to see that there. So, the way they have this set up is, the reason I have this on three and four is because if you make that stereo, it's gonna make, yeah, see, one and two stereo. So if I tried to put it on two and three, it it works, you know, it's very, you know, one, one two, will go together if you make that stereo three four and then five six and then seven eight hope that makes sense so reaper out one and two is going to channels three and four on the mixer so three and four on the mixer that's that there that sends it to the main outs so now the main outs are getting signal from my mic and Reaper. Then all of that is going into OBS. Then I am taking the output, the, also the same output that's going to Reaper, or going to OBS. The same output that's going to OBS is going to analog output three and four, which is my headphone output. Boom. So, I am going to save a new preset. OBS vid demo. I'm gonna save that. And save over clear all, okay. And then I'm going to export that. And then I'm going to post that in the comments. Co I'll post it in. Yeah, I'll post that in the comments and the uh, description. How about that? All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you uh, got something out of this video. And I hope it compels you to actually learn this software, which is really difficult. I'm going to. I plan on making trying to make more videos uh, of this now that I got this all set up um, plan on making just more videos in general of me working on stuff now that I got have this all set up so uh, one of the projects I want to work on is trying to take a uh, track and mix it fully through uh, Motu's mixer because 
uh, this mixer is fantastic. This the the um, the channel inserts here are fantastic. There's um, reverb. So the the reason I want to try doing that is because this is all run on the DSP inside of my Motu 16A. So that'll save me a lot of processing power if I could uh, figure out how to do that. So that's coming soon. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, click yeah, click click subscribe if you want to uh, check up on that. So see you soon. Bye.